verbally, I don't post. Usually, I don't post, but I want the world to know. Time to pull a drop top out. Summer nights, it's a vibe, yeah. We've been keeping it in the house. Netflix and chilling, a GDM in, yeah. Didn't wanna share my love till I found someone. Welcome back to the vlog sunshine. So it is Charleston Wine and Food Week as well as Black Expo Week. And we're going to a number of events and we're taking you along with us. So let's get into the video. Okay, so we have three salad dresses today. We have the strawberry vinaigrette. We have the basil citrus, and we also have the onion citrus. So, hey, this is uh, Chef Carlos Brown, of course. Originally from Charleston, South Carolina, it's not for many, many years, but I haven't forgot about my my culture. I haven't invited, I forgot about my history, and so I continue to travel around the world, taking my product that's from my hometown, talking and educating the the, uh, the culture of Gullah. Uh, talking about the history, uh, it's not just a Geechee. You'll go most places, people tell you, oh, you sound Geechee, but there's more to it than just the sound. Um, it's, it's history, it's love, it's unity, it's coming together. And it comes, it goes as far as being in Africa, and so in West Africa, of course. Of and course. so we, we want to be able to explore, one, it's not just about how good the sauce tastes, because it does taste well, but it's about being able to say to someone, hey, let me reach out to you uh, and, and, and talk to you about the Gullah culture. So now we get the opportunity to explain that this rich history that's actually all over the world that people don't realize that's where it came from. Yeah. Not, not, I mean, I go places and people say, um, oh man, we got shrimp and grits on the menu, right? And I'll eat the shrimp and grits and I'll be like, uh, that ain't shrimp, neither grits. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so but in reality, because they don't understand what that culture is or where it came from, they tend to try to duplicate. I remember years ago when I was going to school here in Charleston, they would say, um, and I was in the band, they would say, often, uh, often imitated, but never duplicated. Mm -hmm. you, can't, you, you, know, you can't duplicate the Gullah culture, yeah. you just have to know it. So, but we're willing to teach it. We think that it should be in the schools. We think it should be, uh, our, our young people should know what it is. I think that's another issue that we need to fix with the young people being able to be educated on the history yeah. of the culture of Gullah. So then they will understand going to schools or whatever situation they go through, how to solve problems. We solve our problems by coming together. We solve our problems by praying with each other. We solve our problem by saying, let me help my sister, let me help my brother. And we didn't, so we didn't re result to a, a fight or any type of argument to, to, to settle our battles. We did it through our food. We also solve our problem when we can sit to the table and enjoy a good meal together. Everybody that's Gullah knows what that means. You know, that's families coming together, joining hands in prayer. That's families sitting down, having a conversation without your cell phone. So we are, this is what the Gullah culture, the Gullah sauce is doing now. We're now saying, we're going to bring back, and it's healthy. Right? We're not just eating anything, we're eating healthy food. These sauces represent all natural. You know, so then even if you're a vegan, guess what? You can have these sauce. Uh, I, can I tell you some of my favorite? Absolutely, Every last please one do. Of, Every last one. <laughs> <laughs> Every last one of my favorite.
Alright, I'm gonna test taste it. The sauce is good. I'm gonna add the other sauce to my wings. This is very good. Hey guys, we're back. Actually, it's super loud, so hold a minute. We're currently trying to find parking downtown. So earlier, you saw we went to a bottle signing for Chef Carlos, and it's so there are two different events happening in Charleston this week. It's the Black Expo South that's happening over this weekend. And then there's also Charleston Wine and Food. So if I talk about a particular event, I'm going to put a picture so you know what that event has to do with. Um, did we just go in circles? <laughs> it's super loud. The garage is closed in here for pressure washing and we're trying to find parking. Anyways, if you are looking for a parking lot that's going to take you to the visitor center or somewhere centrally located off of King Street, I'm going to tag the parking garage that we're using right now. It is the visitor center garage and this is the address. The price is always $5, especially when there are events. And so we like to come here because otherwise parking in Charleston is super expensive. So, yeah. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome, welcome, welcome. So this is the Wine Tasting Garden. It's off the Black Expo, 2024. And we're here, let's go. Guys, we're currently at the um, street festival for Charleston Wine and Food, and this is in conjunction with the Black Expo South, so they also have a tasting garden, and that's where we're at currently. So I guess the line is moving. So we could just jump right here. We're just gonna jump because I'm trying to get in. Five mimosa. Okay. Try it on three. This is the rum punch. This is so good. Hey, try this. Which one is that? Rum punch. <laughs> This is John Legend's friend. This is Phil Rose. This is um Red Blend. It's uh Charles Wilson's wine intercept. Thank you. I'm gonna go with the cap. So we're about to try the cap. Right in the front of it. Cheers. That sounds nice. Yeah, it's real nice.
Alright guys, you guys saw it. We came, Charleston Wine and Food Street Festival, Black Expo, wine tasting, liquor tasting. It was good man. We came, we didn't even leave Bear Garden. We was in here the whole time, having a good time, adult style, all the kiddos at home. We got some shots of the street, but we've been here last year, so you guys know what to expect. Vendors, food, activities, stuff like that. It was a silent party. We had to get a quick get down before the um, last call. But yeah, night was fun. We're about to go home. Stay tuned for more stuff coming for the whole weekend. Making it with the Matthews. What's up, guys? Happy Saturday night. Um, Happy Saturday morning. So today was supposed to be Culinary Village Day. And when I booked our tickets, I didn't realize that it was going to be raining. Hubby said he knew. So um, as of Thursday, they sent us an email and said if we wanted to switch our tickets to Sunday or Friday. Obviously, I'm working Friday, so we're both working. So we couldn't do Friday. And we chose Sunday, which the grounds are going to be super wet because it was storming outside. And here's the kicker. We had originally considered the Sunday because the tickets for locals were cheaper, $129. But I wanted to go Saturday because I felt like it would be hyper and more people. I'm a fast. I'm going to love the Wollipa crowd. So, yeah. But end up spending $169 for those tickets. So now we basically spent just under $100 more for the same day's ticket. Crazy, right? I'm just glad we didn't actually lose more money because they had a day party or a brunch party on Sunday at a different location that we were going to buy tickets for. And something said, don't buy the tickets yet. Don't buy the tickets yet. Girl, be mindful of your budget. And I'm actually glad that we did. Okay? Anyways, so hubby's gonna catch a fire and he's like, let's just leave the house. Don't know where he's going or wants us to go, but it won't leave the house. So I'm gonna make him tell y'all where he wants to go. People that want to know where you're leaving the house going. I'm just go on road. You just want to go on road? Go on road. As he's cleaning up the house before he leaves. Look, I want people to go on road looking good. And you got your cats are working a mess. Clean your house before you go on road, that's one thing. She'll be the only one for me. Big tune. My husband put this on for me, y'all. Find that girl. I lock her down, I swear that girl. She'll be the one who comforts me. Yeah. Just follow the cars. They all look like they're going the same place. We found something to do. The parade, so it's St. Patty's Day. Well, this weekend they were having a parade in North Charleston. So the parade is canceled, but the street party is not. So we're gonna do that instead. Forget something? The people are walking down there. Guys, we found a party! We out in the streets! <laughs> Guys, it's gonna be a drunken stupor. Not by us, but all the drinkers. I just got a weenie whistle. Open it, Sammy. Hi guys, we'll have two. Hey, how are you? Hi! Two green margaritas, please. Guys, green for St. Patty's Day and we could drink in the streets. We're just chatting it up with James Brown and his wife. Go ahead, sorry. Hey, how are you? We'll hit you guys up on the way back that way, okay? Thank you. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you, Dean. Take my wife out, spend some time, and the rain stopped for us. 
The only thing was I forgot about the whole St. Patty's green thing, and I didn't rock any green, so everybody looking at me like I'm stupid. They're talking about my Yankee hat. Yeah, so we out in these streets, it's St. Patty's Day. Um, the event we was gonna go to got rained out, but just so luckily, it's a free event, and we still got to come out of the house and do something. So that's the thing we love about living in Charleston. The Lolo or the Rockefeller? I love the Rockefeller, but what's the Lolo? Lolo's gonna have a garlic hot sauce butter on it with some Parmesan. You like that better? I do. I like garlic better. Okay, we'll, we'll get that. Do you want six or nine? <laughs> we'll try the Lola. Nine. nine. Anything else? Guys, the Lola sounds amazing. Okay, I'll put those in for you at the back of the plane. Oh my gosh. This is hitting. I can't. I need to eat. but I found this book based in Columbia, South Carolina, and I think I want to try it. Thank you. Have a good one. What's up, guys? So this video was supposed to be all about Charleston Wine and Food and all of the activities this weekend. But guys, it's Sunday afternoon, and you could tell I'm home. It was fully canceled. And I completely agree with them because I've been to Charleston Wine and Food Culinary Village. The battery died. What I was trying to say is that we're home. You can see Taylor's behind me. And it's our typical Sunday. Grocery shopping, editing, cooking, 
and not a lot of partying. It would have been really nice. We drove by the hip hop brunch. That looked good. Again, that's the one that we were going to buy tickets for. But when we switched to Sunday for Culinary Village, we decided not to get the hip hop tickets. And then last night they canceled because the grounds were so wet. I did see videos of people like losing inventory, like vendors, because the rain was so bad. So they gave us the choice to either donate our tickets because they're a nonprofit organization or to switch the tickets to next year. So I switched the tickets to next year because we're not that rich yet. <laughs> Keyword yet okay so we switched our tickets to 2025 um but i am a little sad because i had my outfit ready ah anyways um it is second sunday on king today so that ends at five starts at 12 we may swing by there but i really and truly don't have a video edited and that's priority for me right now so I'm trying to get that done. Tell her what you're working on. Nothing. Nothing? I'm just color, like I'm just seeing how well these pens work. Did you want to do your review and look who's cut? Listen, I can't go anywhere without this dog coming to find me. What's up, buddy? What's up? You just had to come find your mama. Hmm? You want to know where I'm at? What I'm doing all the time? That's my best friend, to the end, end. me and you, 